Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie, I am a retreat planner, and this is a one-stop shop for summits and retreats, both virtual and in person. Today we're gonna talk about uh, keeping clients in your client flywheel, or your orbit, I've heard both, so and how that ties back to retreats. Something for you to understand is it's way cheaper to keep a client that you already have than it is to go and find someone new. In a way to keep your current clients in your customer flywheel and continue to generate revenue, from them is to offer them an additional service or offer them an additional product, right? So those are the two things you can offer. And I think retreats are the perfect extension from your coaching business to continue the, the community, continue the rapport, and keep them in your flywheel. That being said, how a retreat pulls your client back in, right? So maybe you have a six week course three times a year. So you do it in like almost like a trimester situation. <laughs> you could offer a personalized retreat, like celebratory retreat after each of your coaching programs are over. Or you can offer one big annual retreat that brings everyone that was in your program for that year together in person to celebrate their wins, to talk about their losses, to talk about where they're still hung up, and to get that one-on-one -on -one, like giggle fest memory sesh is really powerful when it comes to building that rapport and keeping that engagement high. Another way to introduce retreats, if you want to offer something every time like your course is done, consider doing like a virtual retreat or a virtual summer where you can showcase your client's work. So if you do that quarterly and do an in-person annually, that's four opportunities for people that are either currently your client or past clients to still engage with your business. That is four opportunities to get more revenue from your current clients that already know you, already love you, and already trust you to take their business to the next level. If you are interested in keeping someone engaged year after year, then a retreat is the optimal way to do that. Consider at the end of each of your retreats offering your next package, whether that be an extension of your current course or possibly you're launching another system that you know that your clients can really benefit from. Hi pumpkin. Use your retreat as a launching pad for your next thing. Or if you wanna use your retreat as a beta for your next package, sell to the people that already know, love, and trust you, and then at your retreat, try your new beta thing. Have like a one hour class teaching your new beta topic, and then get that feedback to implement on your next phase of your next, whether it's system, implementation, whatever you wanna call that. So retreats can be very beneficial of not only keeping your current clients engaged, re-engaging those clients, and then third, launching new business ideas. So retreats are definitely for your business. If you have any clients at all, they're for your business. And I think that you need to really consider in the next 90 days what you wanna accomplish. Virtual retreats take about 90 days to spin up and I would suggest an in-person retreat taking about a year to spin up. Those time frames like can be condensed but do you really wanna you know, bust your ass for them? I don't know which one's the right answer for your business, however, I just know that you know, building in that space and capacity and planning for these events and how that they can benefit your business is a crucial step in the planning process. So if you're ready to prepare for your next event, sign up for a connection call in the description below and we can get on a little 15 minute call. We can discuss where you are in your current business, um, how retreats can benefit your business. My name is Jamie, thank you for coming along on this journey. If you like this, smash the like button, hit follow, and I'll see you next time.